ますね。The screen visible? Start. सदाशिव समारंभ शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रीते श्रुते पुराण आलय करुणालय नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यतौ वंदे भगवत ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहनावत सह नौनक सह वीर वहै तेजस्वी अवदीत मुस्तुमा वहै ओं शातिशाशाति धातुर्ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यातमुच्यते प्रकृति सुबंतादिर्धात्म नम नारायण परोक्ता दंडमव्यक्त संभव मंडस्यांत मे लोका सप्तवीपा चेदी इलेवेन्थ चैप्टर विश्व रूप दर्शन योग टॉपिक कंसर्निंग विश्व रूप दर्शन भगवान शोज हिज विश्व रूप हाउ ही इज इन दॉर्म ऑफ एवरीथिंग टू अर्जुन एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिव्य चक्षु टू संजय ऑल्सो सो भगवत विभूत उक्ता इन दि अर्लियर चैप्टर टेन चैप्टर भगवान विभूति इज वेर टॉक अबउट You are mentioned because Arjuna asked for it as to where all should you be meditated upon, and Bhagwan said, "These are the samplings." Then, after talking about those, now Arjuna is more interested. Tatracha vistabya ham idam krishnam ekam shenastito jagat iti Bhagwata abhitam shrutwa. Having listened to the statement of Bhagwan. as i am present as this prapancha but only one ansha of me one part of me is manifest here towards the end bhagwan said that in the 42nd shloka of the 10th chapter so yet jagat yet that jagat uh, jagat vishtabya idam krishnam jagat ekamshena ekamshena vishtabya aham titah asmi That jagat, yet jagat, jagadatma roopam, adhyam aishwaram, tat sakshat kartum ichchan. That form, whereby Bhagwan has become everything. Although everything that you see is Ishwara, so Arjuna wants to see that in Bhagwan's body. So in that form, he wants to see sakshat kartum ichchan to see how do I see this entire prapancha. As Ishara, Arjuna Uvacha, Arjuna asks now, Madan Ugraha Yak Paramam. Uh, sorry, Arjuna Uvacha, Madan Ugraha Yak Paramam. Guiham Adhyatma Sanjitam Yatva Yoktam Vachastena Muho Yam Vigato Mama. He says, Madan Ugraha Yak Paramam. Guiham Adhyatma Sanjitam Yatva Yoktam. अध्यात्म Why was it narrated to me, taught to me, Madan Ugraha ya, to bless me? By those words, yatvaya uktam, yadvacha, tena ayam moha 
mama moha vigataha it has gone moha is gone shoka moha which was there that moha is gone now so madanugrahaya mama nugrahartham paramam niratishayam there is nothing nothing better than this this adhyatma jnana which you have given me which is guiyam gopyam it should which is not only a secret it remains a secret even when shared with others unless taught very well and understood very well by the shishya that secret just by sharing the secret nobody knows really therefore it is gopyam it is also gopyam because it should not be shared with anyone every tom dick and harry it should not be because it can be misunderstood and thereby it may lead to a further fall it may lead to a further fall because that's what new vedanta is <clears throat> therefore what has happened tena uh, not tena vachaha this uh, tena vachasa we should say if you have to add so i don't know this copy paste error uh, when we did the earlier class perhaps so yad this uktam twaya uktam yad vachaha here adhyatma samhita madhukraya uktam uktam vachaha tena mama ayam moha vigataha <coughs> there by the moha is gone and what is that this guiham gopyam guiham is gopyam and adhyatma sanyitam which is called as adhyatma so atmanatma viveka vishayam that is the meaning what is this adhyatma sanyitam yet that which has adhyatma as its sanya as its name what is called as adhyatma that is atmanatma viveka vishayam it is dealing with or the subject matter is the viveka between atma and anatma and yet twaya uktam vachaha that vakyam tena tena vachasa so tena vachasa ayam mama moha vigata it has gone avek aviveka buddhi apagata ityartha that is the meaning here my moha is gone what is moha moha is aviveka buddhi i was deluded because i couldn't see the difference between atma and anatma i was crying for anitya sharira therefore i was deluded that is the aviveka and that aviveka buddhi has gone now so what is left to do now kincha moreover bhava apyayo hi bhutanam shruto vistara shomaya tattak kamala patraksha mahatmyam api chavyayam भवाप्यय भवाप्यय द्वंद्व इतरे तर द्वंद्व हि भूतानां ति ओरिजिन एंड लया इस द ओरिजिन एंड द एंड ऑफ ऑल बीइंग्स एंड ऑल थिंग्स हैव बीन हर्ड बाय मी इन डिटेल विस्तरशा इन डिटेल बाय मी बोथ हैव आई मीन नॉट ओनली द ओरिजिन द एंड आल्सो हैव हर्ड अबाउट द बोथ एंड्स ऑफ ऑल बीइंग्स and all things tattaha from you i have heard he kamala patraksha he kamala patraksha one who has lotus who lotus eyed we say so lotus eyed is like a bahuri translation one who has lotus eyes is lotus eyed so bahuri uh, in the in their english also in the english also you have a compound lotus eyed means a person who has lotus eyes so that mahatmyam api cha avyayam what i have heard i have not only heard this bhutanam bhava and apyaya i have also heard this avyaya mahatmya that mahatmya which never ends and bhagwan bhashyakara say bhava is utpatti apyaya is pralaya we saw in the last exercises both of these put together in itare itar dandva you will get bhava apyaya bhutanam shruto vistarasha maya meaning not a just a brief insight but i understood all the details tattah so therefore no sankshepata and tattah is tat sakasha from you i have heard this pratyaksha i mean not from someone else not a you know some second hand uh, <clears throat> this thing it is you know from the horse's mouth they say 
कमलपत्राक्ष कमल से पत्र कमल पत्र षष्टी तत्पुरुष और यू कैन डू गौरी डायरेक्टली तदक्षिणी वन हू हेज ईज लाइक दि लीफ ऑफ दि लोटस दक्षिणी से तव सह कमलपत्राक्ष हे कमलपत्राक्ष संबोधन ऑफ दट महात्म भाव महात्म्यम शंज प्रत्यय गिव आदि वृद्धि सो दट इन दि लास्ट पाठ च अव्यय अक्षय अव्यय इज अक्षय डज नॉट हेज अव्यय वी से इंडिक्लाइनेबल इन यू ट्रांसलेट इज एज इंडिक्लाइनेबल इन व्याकरण बट इट इज वॉट इंपेरिशियबल अक्षय हियर एंड श्रुतम अनुवर्तते फ्रॉम श्रुत देर इज एन अनुवृत्ति डुअल लिंग परिमाण परिमाण लिंग परिणाम एंड यू चेंज दि नंबर ऑलसो वचन वचन भेद एंड लिंग भेद हैविंग डन दैट यू एड दैट फॉर अन्वय एवं एकदत्व आत्मा परमेश्वर द्रष्टुम्छा ते रूप ईश्वर पुरुषोत्तम सो एवं हे परमेश्वर हे पुरुषोत्तम यथा आत्मा आथ वे यू हेव टॉक अबउट आत्मा युअर ओन सेल्फ आत्मा देर रिफ्लेक्सिव युअर ओन सेल्फ हाउ यू हेव टॉक अबउट और आत्मा इन द सेंस ऑफ परमात्मा और जीवात्मा वॉट एवर यू हेव डिस्क्राइब but in the last part a immediate chapter that preceded bhagwan has talked about his own yoga and vibhutis therefore that is the rupa which is described or that is the rupa in that rupa arjuna is interested to see bhagwan therefore yatha tum atmanam atth that is his own self he has described which is the self of each and every one but then Arjuna wants to see that Parameshwar Rupa, so he says, "Yatha atmanam tum, evam aham te etad aishwaram rupam drastu michami." I wish to see that Rupa, which you have talked about, that this very thing that that has been di- discussed earlier, as your vibhuti is a sampling. I would like to see that Vishwa Rupa, evam etad na nyatha. not in any other way i want to see that exactly what you have talked about exactly so i would like to see yatha is yena prakarena in which manner you have described in that manner i would like to get a glimpse you know let's start there so atha kathayasi tvam atmanam the way you have are in fact it is just pause so you, the way you have talked about now so atha is vartamana vartamana kala lat lat roopa an optional form of brunj brunj vyaktayam vachi kathayasi therefore kathayasi the way you are talking about it and uh, just now is finished so he is not talking any more but it is the vartamana the samipi vartamana vadva so something which is just just finished talking about in the past so anything in the past or in the future which is not long gone just immediate vicinity can be talked about in vartamana kala also just like you say no when did you arrive so you say i'm just arriving you know so just arriving means he is already there just arrived i came a little while back or i'll be leaving now i will be leaving that is future tense but you say oh, i'm going so i'm going he is not actually started going but i'm going vartamana use is there to say that sometime soon immediate vicinity i'll be going सो आत्मान परमेश्वर कथयसी तथा तथा द्रष्टुम्छा ई वुड लाइक टू सी दैट वॉट इज दैट ते रूप एंड वॉट इज दैट रूप तव रूप ज्ञानेश्वर शक्ति बलवीर तेजो भी संपन्न रूप विच इज ऐश्वर दैट इज ऐश्वर ज्ञान ऐश्वर्य शक्ति बलवीर तेजो भी संपन्न अल्द ऐश्वर्य सिटिंग इन विद इन एज वेल But that Aishwarya is expanded to Jnana Aishwarya Shakti Bala Virya Teja. All of these. That is the Vaishnava Rupa. I would like to see O Purushottama. Manya se yadi tat chakyam maya drastu miti prabhu yoga shvarata to metum darshayatma namavyayam. Now he says, if it is possible to see, he says that I would like to see, but 
is it possible i do not know because now suddenly a desire has cropped up because you discussed so first i would i wanted to know the vibhutis you know you gave me some sampling i was not satisfied with that you you know in uh, 7th and 9th chapter that's what bhagwan bhashyakara says he talked about yoga vibhuti you know all over the place uh, let's sum it up so he says in 10th chapter you sum all of these up so that you know it's uh, that amruta vani i just want to keep on hearing then bhagwan says i can't uh, you know keep on going forever time will end but i will never end so the vibhuti is will never end so i'll give you some sample so that you can you know and what is it to you tena kim dwaya kim syat yo sorry tavakim syat he says etena tavakim syat he says in the end he said in the 10th chapter you will get nothing out of this because you can't keep on meditating on one aspect of everything instead of that no everything that exists yad yad vibhuti mat sarvam whatever is there you know shrimad urjitam evacha all that is me that is me he said that and everywhere in each and every being i am there he is given the idea in the end therefore you, if you can stay there you don't need other vibhutis but now when bhagwan talked about all of these vibhutis and yogas as his own the good and bad also now he wants to know first of all It, it is kind of you know uh, can be suspected as arjuna didn't get the bad being bhagwan all the bad also because there is if you say good and bad and you say only good is bhagwan then all the bad things we consider whatever is bad that is not bhagwan then there is some some second entity other than bhagwan which limits him so arjuna may or may not have got that clearly although moha is gone atman atma viveka that has gone i mean the, not the viveka viveka buddhi is gone but then still that complete clarity may not have been there because he is asking for vishwarupa now and he expects every good thing to come out but once vishwarupa comes out it cannot you know vishwa is all good and bad put together that that is what makes this jagat so if you see jagat all at once as a person personified in one right in front of you you can't avoid the bad it will be there he is not sure about that yet perhaps that's why he is you know wanting to see all the good and we'll see as it progresses how arjuna's emotions change he sees the expected unexpected and uh, he goes through all sorts of emotions therefore although he is interested to see now as in pratyekshena he is not sure whether it is possible so he raises a doubt manyasi yadi tat shakyam all that i have asked for that i want to see i have expressed my desire but if if it is possible if at all it is possible you think and you think that you know it is possible to be seen by me o prabhu yogeshwara because again see he says that even if it is not possible in his mind let's say it is not possible to be seen by me but you are yogeshwara you can make the impossible possible even if it is not possible to be seen by me that is what is hidden here in yogeshwara when he says yogeshwara he is trying to tap that grace that even if you think that i cannot see through my eyes please make me see so darshaya tum darshaya if you think it is possible you show me and what is not possible for bhagwan therefore yogeshwara he had, he chooses the right word you know he is not he did not say hey krishna hey yadava all that he is just saying yogeshwara because he knows that yoga he has got the idea of that yoga the vibhuti and yoga he knows now that all this is bhagwan's creation so he if he wishes even if i am not capable he can make me capable therefore he say yogeshwara tataha me from darshay atmanam avyayam atmanam darshay you show me that that swarupa of yours with all the vibhutis manyase chintayasi yadi maya arjunena maya tat shakyam drashtum iti if you think that it, it can be seen by me this arjuna a friend of yours then he prabhu swami he say he swami yogeshwara yoginah 
Yogaha Teshameshwara Yogeshwara. So here we saw in the last part, Yogina Inipratya is the explanation. Inipratyanta Yogin Pratipadikam, which declines as Yogi. In Prathamaya Kvachana, that is the meaning of this Yoga hidden in the Samasa Yogeshwara. Yoga Namishwara. And what is Yoga? Yoga is Yogi. Yoga Asya Asthiti Yogaha. That is Matuparthe Ini, you will get Yogi, but uh, Arshadi Ach, you will get Yogaha. And Yoga is not Bhave, there Yoga Asya Asthiti Yoga. Or Esham Thantiti Yogaha in plural. Tesham Yogana Mishwaraha is Yogeshwaraha. And hey Yogeshwara is a Sambodhana. So you can do all that. Even if I am not capable, you can make me capable. Yasmataham Ativarthi Drashtum. Because I am very much desirous to see this form. Earlier I was desirous to hear about the Vibhuti. That you are satisfied. That desire of mine you have satisfied. Now I would like to see the form. Tasmat, Tata is Tasmat. Therefore me Madartham Darshaya. For my sake, you know. Even if you think I am not capable, but then with your blessings I can be capable. And kind of, you know, blackmailing emotionally. Madartham. Me, Tasmat, me, me is Mahyam. And Mahyam there is Chaturthi Vibhakti, Tadarthi Chaturthi. Madartham Darshaya. For my sake, you, you know, bring out your Vishwarupa and show me. Tom Atmanam Avyayam. And then Bhagavan melts away with this request. He says, Evam Choditaha Arjunena Bhagavan Vacha. Evam Chodita, being prodded and requested in, or emotionally, you know, made to melt with Bhakti. He says, Shri Bhagavan Vacha Pashyame Partha Rupani Shatashotha Sasrashaha Nana Vidhani Divyani Nana Varna Kritini Cha. And then he says, Hey Partha. Me Rupani Pasha. Look at my Rupa. And when he says he look at them, he has not started showing them because as we know he is going to give the Divya Chakshu. Then how does he say look at it? It is not uh, look at it. It is you know, Pasha here. Pasha here has been used in Vartamana Kala. See. It is not Vartamana Kale. Otherwise, Lat, Prat, uh, Lat Pratya should have been used here. Lat Lakara. Lat Pratya, Lat Lakara should have been used. But Lot Lakara, Pashya. But he is not saying that you see. You see anytime now. All the Pratyas which are used in the Vartamana Adhikara in Ashtadhyayi. Uh, Vartamane. Vartamane Adhikara. Vartamane Lat. Which goes till Bhavishyati Kala. So all those can be used for Vartamana Samipye. Vartamana Vadva. Vartamana Vat Pratya, all the Pratyas which are used in Vartamana Kala. So Pashya is also, this Lot Lakara is also used in Vartamana Kala. It, is, it has no Kala binding there. So you see, but it is coming up, he is not really showing yet. He says, you, you will see any time now. So he has to make him capable first with Divya Chakshu. Pashya me he partha rupani shata shata sahasrashaha. Which are hundreds and thousand, you know, they are divided in such a such a way. Not divided, they are, uh, you know, hundredfold or thousandfold varieties. Varieties are such that nana vidhani, the, and they are divya. They cannot be seen here in this loka. They are divya, devhavani divya, divyani, and nana varna kriti nicha, having many varnas forms and. Uh, Akrutis, forms and Varnas, colors. Those kind of Divya Rupas, which are Nana Vidha and 100, you know, 100, uh, 100 types, hundreds of thousands of types of forms are hidden within this Vishya Rupa. Have a look at them. You have seen this, you know, Vilakshana, Nana is Vilakshana, all that. You have seen Pashyame Partha, Rupani, Satasha, Atha, Sahasrasha means Aneka Shaityartha, Satasha and Atasasrasha put together anekasha in many ways, many forms. Tani cha nana vidani aneka prakarani divi bhavani divyani. Those are of many ways and they are not seen here, but elsewhere they may be seen 
not exactly so but some of these forms which are not here they are elsewhere all these are embedded within aprakrutani they are not you know naturally they, you don't come across such things here nana varnakruti nicha means nana are vilakshana and neela pita adi prakara are varnas there are you know the dark and yellow and all these kind of colors black blue whatever you want to add those all those colors tatha akrutayascha all the forms which are avayava samsthana vishesha yesham rupana tani rupani those roop those forms are what nana varna kriti nicha pashya dityan vasun rudra nashvino marutas tatha bahun yadrishta purvani pashyascharyani bharat so he bharata pashya he says have a look at this he bharata pashya we have not done the padacheda here hit the earlier five shlokas in the exercises so pashya what are those aditya adityan then vasun then rudran then two ashvine ashvina so ashvinau two ashvinas the celestial doctors so to tatha bahun bahuni bahuni adrushta purvani bahuni adrushta purvani pashya aschariyani bharata so have a look at these what are these he bharata not much of an anvaya to do he bharata adityan vasun rudran ashvinau marutah tatha bahuni all of these tatha is there so pashya is repeated so pashya tatha bahuni adrushya adrushta purvani aschariyani pashya have a look at these all these are second case confusion would be with ashino so i'll mark that two and marutah sorry tatha bahuni pashya aschariyani bharata although i am hoping that they are clear all those are second case he bharata sambodhana so pashya adityan 12 12 types of dwadasha adityan there are 12 vasun eight vasus are there rudran ekadasha 11 rudras are there two ashvinas two ashvinas and marutah sapta 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 ganah etan so all these are there are these divisions of devatas have a look at these means he is going to show in the, his own uh, rupa vishwarupa he is going to show all of these they are all ishra manifesting in those forms playing those roles he himself is an is 11 adityas he himself is the eight vasus and so on tatha cha bahuni anyan api anyani api others also have a look at other forms also which are not only limited to these adityas etc adrushta purvani which have never been seen before by you at least he says and not only by you manushya loke tvaya adrushta purvani anyani rupani bahuni and okay is it just me arjuna anyena va kena chit by others also by anyone else also it has not been seen therefore adrushta purvani never before has anyone seen these forms of mind therefore aschariyani adbhutani they are a wonder wonderful forms have a look at it unimaginable you know na kevalam etavad deva not not only limited to these there is so much more so further he expands ihai kastham jagat kritsham pashyadya sacharacharam mama dehe guda kesha yachanya drashtum ichchasi not only those he says ih ekastham ih ih ekastham 
ekastam jagat krishnam this entire entire prapancha pashya have a look at this adya now right now you have a look at them sacharacharam along with the moving and unmoving the entire sentient and insentient world you can have a look pashya adya now and sacharacharam mama dehe he gudakesh yacha anyat drashtum ichasi and then what else should you see what else can you see and anything else that you wish to see whatever you wish to see is all me therefore see this entire prapancha is seen by each and every person differently there is a there is an objective reality all right but then there is some subjectivity also involved it gets colored you know it gets colored by raga dvesha that's why from one thing one may have fear the other may play around with that thing like a snake or something you know some people are afraid of some things the other like it and they some things uh, look very beautiful to some others don't like them so this likes and dislikes ragat dvesha is subjective there so now what arjuna is thinking he is right there in the middle of the war and what has he what has been his shoka moha that i may be ending up doing papa you know or if i get this rajya also what use of is it if i kill my sobandhus how will i you know live happily i don't know whether i'll survive i don't know whether i'll you know win over or lose this battle whether i'll be killed or they'll be killed he has no idea of anything that is coming up he is not scared of his kshatriya dharma but he is scared of the papa that will incur and he is deluded by confusion with atma and anatma therefore what he does not know and would like to know that also you can see therefore he says yachcha anyat drashtum ichasi based on your own ideas driven by your own raga dvesha driven by own emotions which have you know which have tuned your mind you have you are structured in a particular manner each person is different the way a person carries his own baggage his or her own baggage since childhood and janmantara janmantaratah whatever else is carried baggage that a person carries which becomes the personality of the of any one which defines uh, the reaction or the emotions which makes this this person whole that entire entity which gives him that personality him or her that entire thing is different for each and every person and thereby one has a certain expectation from the world through that colored eye there is a certain thing that one wishes to know one does not wish to know all this this ichcha all this is backing and then any decision at any point one takes or any wish that comes up is all based on this sum total of the vasanas therefore he gudakesh yachcha anyat drashtum ichasi he leaves it to him whatever you wish to see that you will see the beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder and so does everything else so that subjectivity is actually brought forth here we think everything is objective you know it's an objective world out there it is on you know what you see and what i see we assume it is all the same it is not all the same your vision is different than my vision and it is true with each and every person what you call red i i may call red but then what i see whether i see red or not you don't know what i see is what i see what i call it i don't know whether it is the same thing that you call red you see something 
no one can really say that everyone is in really in sync therefore the choice is left to each and every person to use the free will one way or the other and land into some karma phala which keeps everyone going very differently even being in the same world every one's life is different there is no parallel that can be drawn so here he says yachcha anyam drashtum ichhasi what you wish to see you can see in ishara and what we wish to see is what we see anyway every so you know you say that are you able to see what i am trying to tell you yes but i am seeing it in my own way we all are like that we see it in our own way we are tuned to a particular set of parameters that we gauge and then we objectify and we have our set of conclusions drawn from those scientifically they may say you know we have a set of guidelines and then you go with that scientific methodology you will be able to you know reproduce the same results but then what exactly a person is seeing is what he is looking for you have given him a guideline him or her a guideline that do this do this see this see this that is different yachcha drashtu ichcha si ichcha is driving it here what you desire to see that alone you will see unless told otherwise that's why when we are experimenting also why does someone find something new because that person is look trying to even in science that person is trying to look for something else that others missed because he, he or she desires to see that and then that that thing manifests this is what bhagwan is saying i i am giving you general idea as to what all is there to see but then it is vishwa roopa there is everything to see and now what you wish to see the reason for you to see this is because you wish to see something i am showing you almost everything that there is why almost i am showing you everything that there is but you wish to see something you see that in in my roopa so iha ekastham ekasmin neva sitam everything all at once so so much of you know uh, the the sense organs are bombarded with uh, all at once so ekastham is ekasmin neva sitam right here the entire jagat is seen in one roopa समस्तम कृष्णम समस्तम एंटायर पश्य अद्य इदानीम नाउ इटसेल्फ एंड सच अराचरम इज सह बहुरी स स चरेण अचरेण च वर्तते मम सॉरी स चराचरम इज अलोंग विथ सो इट इज नॉट बहुरी इट इज या सह इज सह बहुरी सह या सह चरेण अचरेण च वर्तते इति स चराचरम वर्तते मम देहे Hey, Goda Kesha! It is right there in my body. You will be able to see. That's why we say that Purusha Sahasra Shirsha Purusha is that who has all these heads, and then everything else comes together in one Purusha. That is the Vishnu Rupa in Purusha Sukta also. Sahasra Shirsha Purusha. This is the Vishnu Rupa. Same thing. And Yachcha Anyat. What else? Jaya Parha. Jaya Parajaya Adi. He says, whatever you want to see is what Jaya and Parajaya. You may be wanting to see that. So, Bhagwan Basha Gara says, "Yachcha Anya Drastu Michcha Si" means what you are wishing to see. What you may not say it, but then Jaya Parajaya also you may wish to see. Yet Shankar say, which you doubt, you know, because you have expressed in as many words whether I'll win or I'll not. Jadi Va Jaya Mu. So he said that whether or not I don't know. And therefore, yet shanka se yadva jaye maya yadva jaye ma yadiva na jaye yuhu. What you have expressed as a doubt. So Bhagwan Bhaskara goes back to sixth shloka of the second chapter. So whatever you wish. Yeah, it's it's so vartamanam is fine. Paata bhi da in the Bhaskya. Okay, so you have sa chare na chare na cha. वर्तमानम दैट्स ओके वर्तमानम इज ओके इट्स एन एक्सप्लेनेशन वर्तते इज आल्सो इट्स अ वर्तते वेदर वर्तमानम और वर्तते वर्तमानम इज आल्सो ओके एज एन एक्सप्लेनेशन इट्स एन एक्सप्लेनेशन चरेण आचरेणे च स वर्तते मीनिंग इज सेम डजंट मैटर मच देयर 
यद्वा जयम यदिवा नो जयेयु इति यत शंकसे इति यत अवोचः द वे यू हैव सेड दैट यू योरसेल्फ हैव सेड दैट ओ अर्जुन यू हैव सेड दिस एंड देयरफॉर यत शंकसे तदपि द्रष्टुम यदि इच्छसि इफ यू विश if you wish you can see the future also that's what i say it is not a, this jagat see imagine this not only the prapancha see the difference in this vishwarupa is that otherwise without the vishwarupa where the vishwa itself you see as bhagwan's rupa white the ishavasya midam sarvam there you can meditate only in the vartamana and in the past which you have seen and future which you can imagine here you can see all the past future and present prapancha right there in one that's why it's vishwarupa vishwarupa is not bound by not limited to any kala therefore yad avocha yadapi drashtum yadi ichasi what this jaya parajayadi which is going to come about that also if you wish to see you can see the future also in me किंतु न तो मां शक्य से दृष्टि मने नहीं वस्त्र चक्षुषा दिव्यं ददामिते चक्षु पश्चमे योग महिष्वरम् एंड व्हाट यू हैव सेड इज राइट व्हाट यू हैव डाउटेड एरलीयर एस वेदर और नॉट आई कैन सी आई डू नॉट नो देवरफॉर यू सेड यदि मन्य से स्विचेड सेड हियर मन्यसे यदि तक्षक्यम मया दृष्टुम इति प्रभो दैट इज राइट यू कैन नॉट सी विद दीस आईज दीस वेरी आईज यू कैन नॉट सी देयरफॉर न तु माम दृष्टुम तोम शक्यसे यू कैन नॉट सी इट अनेनेव सचक्षुषा विद योर ओन आईज द वे दे आर आईज नो विद योर नेकेड आईज यू कैन नॉट सी दैट्स व्हाई यू यूज यू नो माइक्रोस्कोप और टेलीस्कोप इत्यादि बट हियर नन ऑफ दोस आर यूजफुल सो स्वचक्षुषा न शक्य से द्रष्टुम अनेन एव सचक्षुषा यू कैन नॉट सी मी सो ही कंफर्म्स दैट एंड सेस न तु अर्लियर आई हैव नॉट मेड एन अनवया देयर सो इह एकस्तम जगत प्रश्नम पश्य अद्य मम देहे अद्य अद्य मम देहे अद्य इह अद्य इह मम देहे एकस्थम पश्य व्हाट इज दैट एकस्थम सचरा चराचरम कृष्णम जगत जगत पश्य हे गुणा केश पश्य एंड जगत फर्दर व्हाट यच्च अन्य द्रष्टुम इच्छसि देन सिन यच्च इज देयर यू कैन ऐड द तत् पश्य कृष्णम जगत पश्य यू कैन Since this is second case, you can complete this sentence there and take the pashya anurti there. Then further what? Natu, natu maam, tum, ane na. Sorry, this is not getting shakya se drastum ane na eva chakshusa. So natu. Mom, Shakya say you are unable to see to see anena through eva chakshusha your own eyes own eye here singular has been used divyam so aham dadami te to you tab tubhyam chakshuhu so tubhyam or you can say tava also He is going to take it back, so I would prefer a shifty. Pashya, so it not really sampradana. Pashya me yogam aishwaram. 
so have a look at this so leave the anvaya there natu natu maam vishwarupa dharam shakya se drashtu maam is vishwarupa dharam i am holding this vishwarupa form that kind of me you cannot see you can see this krishna me but you cannot see that vishwarupa me that narayana rupa you cannot see through this anena eva prakrutena with this you know whatever natural eyes you have got through them you cannot see so chakshusha swakiye na chakshusha that i which is part of your body that through that you cannot see yena tu shakyase drashtum what is that divyena yena divyena drashtum shakyase tad divyam aham dadami te tubhyam he says but tubhyam sampradana but sampradana i mean it is of course chaturthi can be used there but sampradana is generally you know when you don't take it away so i have marked it as shashti there since uh, you know some but chaturthi or shashti both are okay i feel that uh, bhagwan bhashyakara says tubhyam will go with tubhyam but sampradana strictly of course sampradana is uh, not really uh, used in the way strictly it has to be used sampradana is to you but then you take it away then it is not sampradana really but then who knows whether bhagwan took it away maybe arjuna you know could see that form and then further he asked him to you know change that and so that divya chakshu whether he took away or not we don't know but the form he withdrew so that we also we can take and say tubhyam is fine because it is it has been given yad dattam tad dattam it has not been taken back but then bhagwan withdrew his form so if he withdraws his form even if he has divya chakshu he can't see that is another way to look at it just to you know see the sampradanatvam there tena pashya me yogam aishwaram aishwaram is what ishwarasya mama aishwaram yogam yoga shakti atishayam that is the idea what is that aishwara yoga that which that yoga which cannot be transgressed transgressed by any one cannot be transcended by any one that's the limit upper limit vishwarupa is the limit you cannot go beyond the vishwarupa because it includes everything you cannot go beyond everything sanjay watch now suddenly sanjay comes back into the picture he says eva muktva tato rajan mahayogeshwaro hari hi darshayama saparthay paramam rupam aishwaram then what did he do eva muktva hari hi eva muktva having said so what did hari do he evam uktva uktva having said tataha rajan o raja he rajan sambodhana mahayogeshwara hari not just not just hari but mahayogeshwara hari not even yogeshwara mahayogeshwara uh, arjuna is addressing bhagwan as yogeshwara but uh, sanjaya who is not sitting in front of krishna like arjuna is he is somewhere else in the in the kingdom in the palace he is sitting with the Uh, king there dhritarashtra and then there itself we can see the form and that form is no longer yogeshwara it is mahayogeshwara sitting elsewhere he is able to see that so mahayogeshwara hari darshaya masa he showed he showed the form to whom parthaya showed it to parthaya paramam paramam rupam aishwaram aishwaram form he showed so he rajan eva muktva tatah after that what mahayogeshwara hari he parthaya paramam aishwaram rupam darshayama sa paramam paramam aishwara shuram rupam evam uktva 
ஹே ராஜன் ததஹா ஏவம் உக்வா மகாயோகேஸ்வரஹ ததஹா கேன் கோ ஹியர் ஏவம் உக்வா ததஹா ஆர் ததஹா யோ ஏவம் யுக்தா இஸ் ஆல்சோ பாசிபிள் மகாயோகேஸ்வர ஹரி பார்த்தாய பரமம் ஐஸ்வரம் ரூபம் மகாயோகேஸ்வர ஹரி He is Mahan and he is Yogeshwara. Therefore, and Yogeshwara is what? Yoga Nam Ishwara. What is Yoga? Yogi Naha. Yogi Nam Ishwara. He is the meaning of Yoga Nam Ishwara. And he is Mahan also. There is no one beyond him. That Hari he is Narayana. Darshaya Masa. Why Narayana? Because he is showing that Vishwarupa, Narayana Rupa, Dar- Narayana Ayana or uh, Yatra. Naranam, not Naranam, Narahevan Araha. You have seen this in the beginning. Narahevan Araha, Swarthe, and then Naranam, Ayanaha, Yasmin, Yatra. All these uh, several types of Bahuris are possible. Or he himself is an Ayanaha. That is also possible, but preferably Bahuri. Because otherwise you have to bring in Yuhu Pratya and all that. ீனேஜ் But here, Prathasuta, it's not known by the father, known by the mother, Pratha. Partha, see, Partha so many times, you know, when uh, Vyasa Maharshi says in the, uh, this thing itself, not Vyasa Maharshi, it would be, uh, not Vyasa, but uh, I think uh, Madhusudana Saraswati Acharya, I think, the uh, Gita Dhyana, parthaya pratibodhita so that parthaya it start that name is priya to our, to krishna also why prathasuta that is the relation related on the mother side there so therefore partha and it derives from that prathasuta prathasuta is partha prathayaha apatyam puman paramam rupam Vishwarupam is the Paramam Rupam Aishwaram. Nothing beyond this because Vishwa is Param here. So now he is really showing the forms. He has told, just have a look now. And then he granted because Sanjay is saying, now Sanjay is narrating this. The Rupa is the narration of Sanjay to Dhritarashtra because he is able to see these forms and then he is... Uh, Uh, his emotions are also changing he is he has see look at what what all sanjay has to do look at the, that divya chakshu that sanjay has been granted he can sit in the palace see everything recall and this is uh, you know when uh, the entire uh, narration of geeta by sanjay started on the 10th day of the war in an 18th 18 day war it is mahabharata but in 18 days in entire uh, Uh, you know the entire uh, kurukshetra and in fact it's, a, it's like you know the as uh, as good as a, or as good or bad as a world war so several uh, several people have uh, had died unbelievable numbers you know in uh, generations have been destroyed in this war and that took place in near 18 days and that too not 18 days you know day and night சூரியோதய டு சூரியாஸ்தா இட்ஸ் அ தர்ம யுத்தம் நாட் தேட் யூ நோ யூ கேன் ஜஸ்ட் கோ அண்ட் 
kill someone at any point of time you know launch missiles at night when people are sleeping none of those unfair uh, so called you know uh, world wars this is like driven by dharma on both sides even by the rules whether dharma or adharma it is a battle of dharma and adharma but by both on both sides there are set of rules which are followed not like you know you have a un which is sitting there and says that uh, you just give it some you know some title united nations nobody cares for whatever united nations says jiski laathi uski bhais that is what goes on today i mean the the big brother can go so called big brother you know can go around bossing around anywhere around the world nobody nobody can stop no not that kind of a thing so you have some guidelines you break all the guidelines and then you just get away by saying that i we bluffed you know so people get away all you all know the story so the world leaders and the so called the great countries none of that it, this is all intense war but driven by set of rules which are followed on both sides when broken they are broken and they are penalized for those in that the entire 18 day war everything was dhwansa udhvasta in that the 10th day when bhishma had his fall that time the narration started so look at sanjay's divya chakshu which was granted he can sit somewhere else see all the war that has happened recollect each and every bit of detail and then narrate it as though it is happening right now here he is having a look at it and he is narrating each and every detail to dhritarashtra because he asked what happened the question starts with that the gita starts with that dharma kshetre kurukshetre said mamakah pandavaha what happened between them there the narration started what happened when 10 days back it had started and how did it come about that bhishma who you know undefeatable kind of a personality he had a fall it uh, it shook dhritarashtra and then the narration has started and he can recall with his uh, with what he has heard and what he sees he is narrating and the first one there is अनेक वक्त्र नयन अनेकाभुत दर्शन अनेक दिव्याभरण दिव्यानेकोद्यतायुधम सो अनेक वक्त्र नयन दैट रूपम व्हाट इज से दर्शयामास व्हाट परम ऐश्वर रूपम दर्शयामास दैट हैज अनुवृत्ति ऑल ओवर टिल ऑल सेकंड केसेस आर देयर टिल देन द अनुवृत्ति विल बी देयर दिस परम ऐश्वर रूप दर्शयामास पार्थाय हरि सो कर्ता विल गोड पार्थाय संबोधन संप्रदान विल गोड एंड परम ऐश्वर रूप कर्म विल गो गोड दर्शयामास क्रिया एंड हिसे अनेक वक्त्र नयन इज द रूप सो बहुरी अनेक वक्त्र इज देर नयन इज देर मौत वक्त्र इज मौत एंड नयन ऐस इन विच रूप so many mouths and eyes are there in which form that is that vishwarupa which is aishwarya rupa that was shown hari showed not was shown hari he showed that to partha aneka vaktrayanam what else is it aneka adbhuta darshanam having many wonders again bahuri having so many wonders to see aneka divya abharanam abharana the ornaments were also not ones which are seen here they are divya unseen elsewhere they may be seen divya and or having shine you know both are possible yasmin rupe all this will we go in bahuri with a saptami connection yasmin rupe tad roopam anekani vaktrani nayanani cha yasmin rupe tad aneka vaktram roopam anekani adbhutani darshanani yasmin tad aneka adbhuta darshana roopam darshanam roopam then again similarly with divya abharanam divya aneka divya uh, divya aneka udyata ayudham this ayudha you know ayudha puja the weapons or as weapons are whatever you use for your own you know earnings otherwise we we don't use weapons but kshatriyas they, they their tools all their weapons are ayudhas and those ayudha which are udyata raised ayudhas and they are holding all this in the battlefield all those are in vishwarupa they are also divya so he is holding a form 
sorry shri dara a form with many eyes many mouths many wonders to see many divya ornaments heavenly ornaments and many weapons which are lifted ready to fight we'll see more in the next part i'll stop here narayana paro yukta dandam obyukta sambhu vandasyanta sthire luka sapta dvipa jimi dini any questions <coughs> sorry <coughs> I have no questions. Yes, phone from me. Yeah, I had uh, unmuted. So, if you have a question, you can unmute yourself. Otherwise, uh, I'll close. Hello. Yeah. Bhuk. Hello. Yeah, I had a small question. Ten point twenty-three. Ten point. गोल्डन पर्वत has some value in the puranas but yes, meru it is come uh, it's a, it's golden colored it's described as i remember is a meru otherwise nowadays what you have meru see they trek to himalayas in uh, uh, there is something called a shivlinga shivlinga parvata which is if you cross over bhagirathi where you have that if you are asking some philosophically there is nothing that i know of any philosophical thing with meru but it is basically uh, called as that parvata where i think if i am not mistaken where brahma started his creation so some stories are there uh, also uh, around meru or somewhere so that uh, if you cross over bhagirathi uh, on the left side there are bhagirathi two or three peaks and on right side you have something called shivlinga <coughs> at the raktavarna glacier uh, what is it called hmm. Anyway, this is what I recall. So, at the uh, next to the Shivlinga is there is one Parvata which is called as Meru because it has a hue of you know golden hue. But that may not be the real Meru which is said to be the Meru. Other thing is that they say that Meru was the center, you know, because Brahma ji, Lord Brahma created uh, the universe there. So it is <laughs> said to be the center. That's why Meru means center in Sanskrit. Also, Meru has the meaning of center. Yeah. Because in Tarka Sangraha, the directions Prati Udichi is described with respect to Meru Parvat. Yeah, yeah. So Meru is the center by saying the center of creation. So where exactly is debatable now because it is somewhere in the Himalayas. But then what exactly, which exactly is that Meru may be a little, uh, you know, debatable. But mm-hmm. I have seen that Meru. It looks like Meru. I mean, someone tells me that it is made of gold. I would accept it because you know, lot of sunshine there, and the color is such that it appears golden. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry, I just had to drink some water. So that's the uh, that's the hue there. It is a golden parvat, uh, parvata, and all that. Uh, okay. So that's it, right? Nothing. Uh, Okay. Okay. Thank you. That. Yeah. Nothing more. So yeah. that's all I know of. Because even in Jyotisha, it keeps coming up. So. Okay. I just wanted to have some idea about it. So what is it there in Jyotisha about Meru? Uh, if there also the directions are described with respect. Yeah. Same to... thing, right? Directions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't think uh, there is anything more there, and uh, it's been a while since I have seen the other Tika Shankarandi. I got a little. Uh, Uh, distracted and i couldn't continue i have not uh, read since the past couple of chapters maybe seven chapter or eight time maybe or i don't even remember where i was if i find something i'll let you know okay but uh, i think uh, that is sufficient for yes yes our understanding yes i just wanted to have some idea about it. okay thank you yeah anyone else okay namaste all uh, see you in the next part huh?